Hello and good evening. I believe I'm audible to all of you. Namaste. Good evening, aap sabko. Kya main sunai de rahi hoon? I can see Sarika, Pooja already joining, joined in. Am I audible to all of you, my dear boys and girls? Kindly let me know. So we have Pooja, we have Sarika saying, yes, ma'am. Good evening, SK Chaudhary. So that is Shivani. Shivani. Good evening, Shivani. Good evening, Sarika. Good evening, Pooja. Manu, good evening, my dear. Very good evening to all of you. Dr. Archana Tanwar, good morning. Uh, good evening, madam. Good evening. Good to see you. Good to see you. Right? Uh, Jolly Yadav, good evening, Pooja Khardia, good evening. I'm good, Dolly, thank you so much. I hope you all are doing good. Simu and Gagandeep, good evening, my dear. Good evening, my dear. Dr. Tanwar, I feel so happy, you know, when people like you actually take out time to attend a session. Uh, it is very inspiring. It's very, very motivating. Okay. So today we are going to do something very basic, uh, but uh, important. So we are going to do something which is called conjunctions and interjections right uh, conjunctions and interjections i'll just wait for another uh, 30 to 40 seconds another 30 to 40 seconds for uh, some people uh, some more people to joining and here i have harpinder hello harpinder how are you how are you i'm keeping my mobile ready with me you know because i got to see like whether I'm being going live and uh, whether my PPTs are being able to be shared, so on and so forth. So I also keep the mobile handy and uh, logged on to Facebook so that I can uh, see what is actually going on. So conjunction we are trying to do today, joining. Very important uh, thing in life, you know, joining things, very, very important things. If even in our life, in our in our professional, personal life, if we are being able to join things, uh, it is always, we are always successful with that. We are always successful with that. And if you are not being able to do that, uh, we might face a little bit of problem. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Uh, Shekhar Kumar SK. Namaste, Shekhar. Uh, Mansi. Hi, Mansi. Uh, Sadhveer Singh, Namaste Ma'am Ji, Namaste Sadhveer, Namaste. Chali, to shuru karte hai aaj ka session, okay? So what do we have in today's session? Uh, we have conjunctions and interjections. Just a minute, my dear boys and girls. Let me check if it is shared. We have conjunctions and interjections. Just a minute, my dear boys and girls. Okay. So it's already been shared. Now, suppose let me tell you a sentence, right? A sentence which says, God made the country and man made the town. God made the country and made man made the town. So here, there are two sentences we can see. Here, there are two sentences that we can see. One is that God made the country and the second one is man made the town. So when we join these two sentences with an and, which is the conjunction, 
it becomes one sentence. So, in other words, what we can say, we can say that what is a conjunction? A conjunction is like a glue. It helps to stick things together, right? A conjunction is like glue, which helps to stick things together. And a conjunction joins words, phrases, and sentences, which are called clauses, which are called clauses, right? So conjunction join together sentences and make them a compact one or uh, makes them one which is easily um, expressed in a shorter way. For example, Balu is a good, good uh, bowler. Balu is a good bowler. And Vithal is a good bowler. Right? Balu is a good bowler and Vithal is a good bowler, right? So how can we shorten the sentence? We can shorten the sentence by saying that Balu and Vithal are good bowlers. Balu and Vithal are good bowlers, right? Uh, the man is poor, comma, but he is honest. The man is poor, but he is honest. Right? So there are two sentences. The man is poor, but he is honest. We can use a, a full stop um, after poor. And uh, we can also use a comma. Right? But to shorten it, what we can write? We can write, the man is poor, but honest. The man is poor, but honest. Isn't it? Isn't it? In this way, this but acts as a, as a word, as a conjunction, right? This but acts as a conjunction, right? Am I, am I clear to you? Just let me check once. Pavan Jingle, good evening, ma'am. Lalit Kumar, Lalit, hello. Admissions at SKT University, they're saying hello, hello, hello. Priyanka Chaudhary, hi Priyanka. Ruchika, hello Ruchika. Uh, then Muskan, Lalit Kumar, Anita, Pavan. Sare Lok, you are here. I'm so happy to see you all. And I believe whatever I'm trying to tell you, I'm being able to, I'm being able to express that to you, right? It's, it's uh, you are being able to take it, what I'm trying to tell you. So conjunction joins together two sentences and the conjunction joins together two words only. So a uh, conjunction is a word which merely joins two sentences and sometimes words. Okay. Sometimes conjunction only joins words. For example, for example, two and two makes four. Two and two makes four. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? So what, what are the sentences here which the conjunction is joining? The conjunction is not, not uh, actually joining any sentence. Rather, it is joining two words. That is two and two. So two and two makes four. Right. Hari and Rama are brothers. Hari and Rama are brothers. Right? Conjunctions may be carefully distinguished from relative pronouns, relative adverbs, prepositions, which are also connecting words. For example, this is the house that Jack built. Let me write it. This would be easier for you. Okay. Okay. Let me... Kavya Kaushal, uh, Sunita Nayak, hi Sunita. Kavya Kaushal, what are you trying to say? Will you please, uh, will please how to we increase our writing skills? Actually, you know, Kavya, I just deviate a little bit from the topic I'm doing today, conjunction and interjections. 
this is for all of us a very important point um, raised by uh, Kavya Kaushal that how to increase our writing skills. Well, to increase our writing skills, we need to learn the language properly, which we are trying to do here. Okay. Ye jo grammar mein aapko padhati hu almost every day and sometimes I give a break and I do soft skills, I do personality development. Kavya, I believe you are listening to uh, what I'm trying to say. It is, it is because in order to write or in order to speak, you know, in order to deal with language in any form, in any form, what we need, we need, uh, we need um, language base, the base of the language, right? And how do we develop that base of the language? We develop that base of the language only through learning the grammar well, learning the sentence construction well. Ek din Gagandeep or... Uh, Simu ne mujhe sentence construction ke baare mein bataya tha. So I tried to discuss sentence construction very, very categorically, right? So ye sab jo hum log yaha pe join karte hai, the the intention of this session is actually to improve our writing skills, our speaking skills, um, our our English language skills overall, which would include both spoken and written. Right, Kavya. So um, you can you can always listen to our previous sessions, which are available on Facebook and YouTube, and you will get an idea like what all we have done. And yes, writing. I am also not very satisfied with the writing part that I have done. I will be doing another one or maximum two sessions on writing. I would request you to kindly keep um, watching and uh, uh, attending the sessions so that. You can also contribute to the session and in the process, we all can learn. So I can see Gagandeep and Mamta Bambu joining in. Hi, Gagandeep. Hi, Mamta. Uh, Gagandeep. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm very good. Now, now, as, as I was just trying to tell you that let me, let me uh, write a few sentences for you and it would be easier for me to uh, explain to you like where where what is being used Achha, eight minute it is so hot here okay as i was saying that um conjunction joins sentences as well as conjunction joins words conjunction joins words right so for words uh, in order to just make you understand, two and two makes four. In this particular sentence, this is the conjunction, isn't it? So it is joining two words, this two. And this too, right? Uh, this is where the conjunction is joining um, two words, right? At times, at times, conjunction is also used. At times, uh, let me just uh, stop uh, sharing this. I will again share it. Samaj me aara hai na? Me kya bol rahi I hope you all are understanding what I'm trying to say. Ha, bacho. Gagandi, Simu, Anita, Priyanka, thoda respond karo. Yes, Muskan. Thank you, Muskan. Thank you. Right. Right. So the next thing is types of conjunction. Types of conjunction. There are three types of conjunction, coordinating conjunction, uh, and then we have subordinating conjunction, and then we have correlative conjunction. Uh, I'm just waiting for the thing to get shared. Yes. So we have three types of conjunction. That is coordinating conjunction, which means the sentence contains two independent statements or two statements of equal rank or importance. Hence, the conjunction joining together these two statements or clauses 
of equal rank is called coordinating conjunction. Her a coordinating conjunction joins together clauses of equal uh, clauses of equal rank. Say, for example, I went to the store to buy milk and bread. Milk and bread. He is slow, but he is sure. He is slow, but he is sure. Right? Conjunctions can join two, two prepositional phrases. Let, let me finish this first, right? So, so another example of uh, um, coordinating conjunction is, say for example, she must weep or she will die. You know, we, we, this, this is a line from a poem. Okay, mm, of uh, most probably Tennyson. Uh, Neither a borrower nor a lender be. Okay, let me stop this and let me share another one. Let me share my page. It is easier, you know, when I, when I write and make you understand. So, Why is it not being shared? So the, this sentence, neither a borrower nor a lender be, is an example of coordinating conjunction because both the sentences, neither a borrower, comma, nor a lender be, is joined with, uh, with uh, conjunction that is nor, neither or nor, and both are of equal rank. What is the meaning of the sentence? Uh, just let me know, right? Now, this coordinating uh, conjunction are again of uh, um, four types. Okay, one is cumulative or copulative. I'll just write it for you. Cumulative or copulative. Cumulative or sorry. Cumulative or copulative. Right? What do we mean by that? which merely add one uh, statement to another, which just adds one statement to another. As uh, uh, we carved not a line and we raised not a stone. I'll just write, we carved. not a line and be raised not a stone this is an example where two sentences are just being joined two statements are just being joined right Adversative, the next one, 
the next one of coordinating conjunction is adversative conjunction adversative right what do we mean by that which expresses opposition adverse means opposition or contrast between two sentences he is slow but he is sure slow hai lekin usar aata hai right like this sentence i have written borrower and lender are opposite words right uh, uh, an an antonym of borrower is a lender neither a borrower nor a lender be na main kisi ko udhar dungi na kisi se udhar lungi we say this very often in hindi or in our mother language so when there is an adversity when there is a uh, opposition in the sentences right he was he was um, all right but he was weak wo theek tha lekin bahut kamzor tha jo theek hote hain wo kamzor nahi hote hain lekin kabhi kabhi in order to make the, in order to express the situation in order to express the situation we do it we do it right so that is that is another very interesting thing the next one the next one i was annoyed but still i was quiet mujhe bahut gussa aa raha tha mujhe bahut chirchirahat ho rahi thi lekin fir bhi main chup chap thi lekin fir bhi main chup chap thi right right am i clear to all of you okay i i am doing uh amrit man parav hi parav hi sanjana monu verma sorry for being late uh, acha acha uh, i'm sorry uh, muskan i couldn't make out that the uh, thing sir so what i do is like अभी शायद ठीक है है ना सो क्यूमुलेटिव और पॉपुलेटिव एंड देन वी हैव एडवर्सिटिव एंड देन वी हैव डिस्टिंगटिव डिस्टिंगटिव और ऑल्टरनेटिव distinctive or alternative which expresses a choice between two alternatives which expresses a choice be between two alternatives say for example uh either study well or you will fail i'm giving either study well or you will fail hmm? right so here there is an alternative given ya to theek se padhai karo ya fail ho jao right so and distinctive uh, sorry uh, disjunctive i'm so sorry uh uh this disjunctive yes uh this disjunctive or alternative uh conjunction actually expresses a choice between two alternatives right either you have tea or i have i will serve you coffee so when there is a concept of either or there is a concept of either or right am i clear let me just check once in the comment box varun chawla gagandeep sushil uh, sushil is anita i know acha bhai uh, aap log na thoda is pe dhyan do 
गगनदीप तुमको सारा इंफॉर्मेशन यहीं पे आके लेना होता है क्या हाँ यू हैव टू टेक ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन इन दिस क्लास माई डियर बॉय जंक्शन इज ऑल अबाउट एंड देन वी हैव अनादर वन विच वी कॉल इज इलेटिव इलेटिव कंजंक्शन ना वॉट डू वी मीन बाई इलेटिव कंजंक्शन which expresses and reference which expresses and reference for example something certainly fell in for i heard a splash something certainly fell in for i heard a splash all precautions must have been neglected for the for the pandemic spread rapidly so elative uh, conjunction is something where an inference is been given where an inference has been given and where it is being said that it is being said that for something something else has happened so a reason is been given something must have fallen for i heard as i have heard a huge sound as i have heard a huge sound okay am i clear um, am i being able to uh, uh, make things clear to you right so what are we discussing so far we were discussing we were discussing uh, coordinating conjunctions and some common coordinating conjunctions are after because if that though although till before unless whatever right you will you will learn it as and when things come next comes the subordinating conjunction the subordinating conjunction okay next comes the subordinating conjunction subordinating conjunction right subordinating conjunctions can be classified according to their meaning based on time reason purpose result condition concession and comparison so let me write it will be easier for you time cause or reason purpose result or consequence condition concession comparison right so let us understand it with the help of let us understand it with the help of examples right i came home before he left i came home before he left so here this before is saying a time isn't it uske jaane se pehle or i just changed it to after i just changed it to after right so i came home after he left 
after he left. Okay. Okay, am I am I being able to make you understand what um, what uh, do I mean by subordinate clause of time? Right. Many chapters or topics have been covered. Since the class started. Am I clear to all of you, my dear boys and girls? Give me a response, please. Surat Sekhar, Mansi, Simu, okay. Rahul, okay. So Surat Sekhar and Rahul, I think you are the new ones today. Good to see you. Please do attend the session regularly to be, uh, you know, helpful to you, right? So time you can understand, my dear boys and girls. I'm so sorry. Now the next is cause and reason. The next is, the next is cause and reason. So let me give you an example. Mm. As you wanted it, I shall abide by it. As you wanted, sorry, this it is not required. As you wanted, I shall abide by it. As Jesse Apne Chahata, my Vesa Hikarungi. So, reason is why shall I do it? Kyu me Vesa Karungi? Because Apne Chahata. You wanted it to do, it to happen, right? He, I have invited him as he is my, is my best friend. Sorry, him as he is my best friend. So again, why did I invite him? Because he's my best friend. So there's a reason for it. Am I clear? I think I am. These are very, very simple stuff. Uh, purpose. Purpose. We eat so that Survive. We eat so that we survive. Right? Uh, another one. He hold my hand. Okay, uh, sorry. He held my hand lest I should fall. Right? Right? So, there is a purpose. Why holding my hand? Holding my hand? Because otherwise, I might fall. Result and consequence. Result and consequence. Uh, cause, reason, purpose. Yes. Then is result and consequence. He was... So weak that he couldn't stand properly. So 
So what is the result or what is the consequence of his weakness? The result or the consequence of his weakness is that he was so weak uh, that he couldn't stand properly. Okay. So another example I give to, about a thing which is just happening to me that I am sweating so much that my hanky is almost wet. I am so that my hanky is almost wet. Right? Result. Result kya hai? Sweating ka result kya hai? Mera hanky bhi kya hai? Okay? Okay, condition. Condition. The next one is condition. I will attend the session if ma'am doesn't scold us. Right? I will attend the session if ma'am doesn't scold us. So there is a E factor here. There is a E factor here, right? Agar a condition hai. Agar wo hoga tabhi mein wo kaam karungi. Okay, so I can see some new people. Kavita. Okay, Kavita, you are late. It doesn't matter. Sometimes you can be late. Uh, sorry, I didn't see you uh, because uh, I was, uh, when I see the um, shared document, I cannot see. Kirandeep, okay, so so many new people here. Ye kaun hai? Suraj Shekhar, uh, Anita Muskan, to hai, Mansi bhi theek hai. Kirandeep, Kirandeep, aaj aapka naya session hai mere saath. Good to see you. Bharat Joham, Bharat, welcome. Uh, Kavita, koi, koi baat nahi, bacha. Lakhvinder, hi Lakhvinder. Uh, Ramesh Chalia, Ramji. Ramji, aap bhi nahi lag rahe hai, meko. Aam bhi nahi lag rahe hai. Rajinder Kumar, thik hai, koi baat nahi, koi baat nahi. Monisha, Monisha is a, uh, Monisha had come. So, can you understand the condition part of it? The condition part of it, my dear boys and girls? Huh? Okay, okay. Now the next one is concession. The next one is concession. What do we mean by concession? Uh, even if, even uh, or rather though, T-H-O-U-G-H, though he doesn't want to study, I will share my notes with him. Huh? Concession. We are considering someone. वैसे तो उसको पढ़ाई करना अच्छा नहीं लगता है लेकिन फिर भी मैं अपना नोट उसके साथ शेयर कर दूंगी ठीक है बच्चा देन कम्स कंपैरिजन देन का देन कम्स कंपैरिजन ओके सो व्हाट आर वी डूइंग हियर एक्चुअली वी आर एक्चुअली वी आर एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड सबऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस Right? Comparison. Comparison. Very simple. Ram, Ram is taller than Lina. Comparison. Isn't it? Simple. Where we compare. Where we compare. So, so, what are we trying to learn? We are trying to learn about the different types of conjunction. So, so, 
So I believe I believe the sentences, uh, the examples, and the sentences uh, that we are uh, that I have tried to share with you is clear to you. Is clear to you, isn't it? Imilal, Imi, Imilal Nayak. Uh, your name kya hai? Samaj bhi nahi aa raha. Hmm? Then comes something. Then comes something that is correlative conjunction. I'm just uh, wiping this off, right? So there is something called co relative conjunction correlative conjunction right mm. for example when when uh, two words are being joined two words are being joined that is called correlative conjunction that is called correlative conjunction correlative conjunctions like either or either or both and whether or i'll, I'll just give you examples you will be able to understand for example Uh, I, I uh, will eat not only the rasgulla, but also, but also the ice cream. also the ice cream so not only in this sentence not only and then but also are correlative are correlative right bowling isn't as fun as skating another example Ice cream spelling Oh my god. Ice cream spelling Mohammed Irfan. Charanjit Kaur. I was just thinking that if there is something that you people are trying to um, relate to, no, I mean related to the topic which I am doing today, right? So these are the types of conjunctions that I had to share with you, that I had to share with you. Now, another sharing. Let me share another thing with you. Is it showing? It's not yet showing. It is not yet showing. It is not yet showing. Uh, it may group job, please. 
Mm, not yet, I can see. Bumper the fun. क्या करे बोलो इतना स्लो क्यों हो जाता है मुझे नहीं पता चलता एनी वे बाई द टाइम इट कम्स लेट मी कंटिन्यू सो क्या मैं क्या बोल रही थी कि को रिलेटिव कंजंक्शन आर नॉट सिंगल वर्ड बट दे आर इन पेयर्स लाइक बोथ आई विल नॉट ओनली इट रसगुल्ला बट ऑल्सो गुलाब जामुन राइट बोथ मी एंड यू वी विल गो टू द movie go, go for the movie we go to the cinema we go for the movie right whether or i do not know whether he is coming or not i do not know whether this uh, i will be able to share this uh, presentation or not neither me nor my students are interested to do the class after 7 o'clock right can you understand what i'm trying to say neither me nor my students are interested to do the uh, to do the um, class to do the session after 7 o'clock right not only me but also you should uh, take the vaccination either you go or i uh, either you stay or i stay with our pet either you stay or i stay with our pet right so these are the few examples i wanted to give you for uh, the correlative uh, um, correlative uh, conjunction i do not know uh, is it because uh, let me see if i can share अभी देखते हैं अगर uh, ये शेयर हो जाता है बिकॉज आई स्टॉप द पावर पॉइंट एंड आई एम जस्ट शेयरिंग द आई एम जस्ट शेयरिंग द वॉट डॉक वॉट डॉक शायद थोड़ा सा जल्दी हो जाए शायद लेकिन मुझे पता नहीं आई डो नॉट नो ये भी नहीं हो रहा है ये भी नहीं हो रहा है चलो जब तक ये नहीं होता है लेट एस लेट एस ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड अ फ्यू मोर ऑफ कंजंक्शन सो सो इफ आई इफ आई राइट अ सेंटेंस कविता आई एम डिक्टेटिंग समथिंग कैन यू प्लीज राइट इट माय डियर बिकॉज आई कैन नॉट राइट फॉर एवरीवन I don't have this option here. Okay, okay. Uh, see if you if you can find he lost his balance. Uh, can you see? I just sent a um, uh, text message. I just sent a text message. दिख रहा है क्या कविता आप लोगों को? मुझे नहीं दिख रहा है. कविता, गगनदीप सिमो, अनीता, जल्दी बोलो बच्चा. Are you getting? Are you getting my text message here in this in this uh, group in this comment section? no okay no ma'am so kavita please write it down please write it down for everybody i'll just dictate it to you because neither it is uh, sharing nor it is allowing me to write theek hai beta aap likho he lost his balance he lost his balance dash 
fell off the bicycle. He lost his balance dash fell off his bicycle. Who's writing this? Kya hoga? Ye jo dash hai, usme kya hoga? Aap log bataiye. He lost his balance dash fell off from the bicycle. Fell off the bicycle. Ye no ma'am, no ma'am, kya raha hai mere paas? Ye thoda sa delayed chal raha hai na, isliye mujhe pata nahi chal raha hai. So you write the entire sentence. Kavita, are you writing the sentence? What would be the what would be the dash? What will you put in the dash to make the sentence complete? What will you what kind of a conjunction? What conjunction will you put? Jaldi se batao. He lost his balance, dash fell off the bicycle. He lost his balance, dash fell off his bicycle. Thank you, Kavita. Ye jo dash hai, aap log sare log comment section mein dekhe, yahan pe jo dash hai, wahan pe kaun sa conjunction aayega? It's a very simple one. It's a very simple one. But, uh, okay, um, you tell me whether but is correct or incorrect. Irfan is saying but. Do you think uh, but is correct? Do you think but is correct? Do you think but is correct? Priyanka, Simu, Gagandeep, jaldi se karo bita. Yes, so Irfan is saying yes, but is correct. But I would say that no, but is incorrect. But is incorrect. Yes, Kavita, but is not correct, right? What is correct then? What is the correct word then, my dear? Tell me. Aplog try karo. What is the correct word? It's a very simple one. What is the correct one? What is the correct one? Tell me, tell me, tell me. But is not correct. Absolutely. But what is the correct? Usme bethe ga kya? Usme bethe ga kya? Jo dash hai, kya tha sentence? He lost his balance. Dash fell off the bicycle. Dash fell off the bicycle. So what would be the correct one? With? No, no, no. Lest? No, not not actually, not actually, my dear. Lest is not correct. Simply so, Jonah, and and fell off the bicycle. And fell off the bicycle. He lost his balance. And fell off the bicycle. He lost his balance and fell off his bicycle. Now that, yes, Simo and Gagandip, right? Priyanka also, right? Uh, now that, uh, on, is the only cursive name? Uh, last word, which uh, Kavita has used here, let me tell you uh, what is the meaning of lest. Lest ka meaning hota hai. Um, so that, lest is so that, in case, in case. For example, she sat up late worrying lest he be murdered on the way home. She sat up late worrying, chinta karte huye, ki shayad usko ghar wapas, ghar wapas aane ke time, koi uska jaan le li, koi uska murder kar de. Samjhe lest ka meaning, ek naya word hai, Thora sa difficult hai, right Priyanka? Thora sa, Mama Dirfan, don't be sorry, we are here to learn. Mene kya kaha, mere session mein jitna galti chahe kar lo. Lekin jab aap seek ke bahar jaoge, waha pe koi galti nahi honi chahiye. You should not make any mistake there. Okay, my dear boy? Okay, Pri uh, Kavita, I need your help once more. Uh... Uh, 
Karim is tall. Karim is tall. Karim lamba hai. Karim is tall, comma. Anyone? Why Kavita? Dolly can write, Simu Gagandip can write. Karim is tall, comma. Abdul is, uh, sorry, dash. Abdul is taller. Karim is tall, comma, dash. Abdul is taller. Karim is tall, comma, dash. Abdul is taller. Jaldi se likhe, sabke liye likh do aap log. Please, I need your help. Otherwise, uh, it, I mean, you know, I was trying to uh, share, but the sharing bhi nahi ho raha hai. Pata nahi kya ho raha hai. Fis se maine share kya. Beta mono uh, tall. T-A-L-L. T A L L. Yes, yes. Irfan, you are absolutely correct. Karim is tall, T A L L, but Abdul is taller. Karim lamba hai, lekin usse bhi lamba Abdul hai. Karim lamba hai, lekin usse bhi lamba Abdul hai. Right? Right? Am I clear? Karim is tall. Yeah, thank you, thank you. But Abdul is taller. Kavita, thank you so much. Manu, thank you so much. Dolly, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Two more, right? I will not bother you much. I will not bother you much. Uh, okay. Wait. Wait. Ruko. Wait. Dash, I come back. Wait. Dash, I come back. देखो आज ना मैं कंजंक्शन एंड इंटरजेक्शन दोनों कराने वाली थी लेकिन अगर थोड़ा सा एग्जांपल्स देके मैं आपके साथ रिवाइज नहीं करती हूं आई फील दैट द लर्निंग रिमेंस इनकंप्लीट सो दैट्स व्हाई आई आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग विद कंजंक्शन एंड आई एम लेफ्ट विद नो टाइम थैंक यू कविता थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉली राइट तो मुझे क्या लगता है कि एक टॉपिक अगर हम लोग लेते हैं uh, और उसको खत्म करके उसके बाद सिर्फ डेफिनेशंस नहीं सिर्फ मेरे तरफ से एग्जांपल्स नहीं आप लोग भी अगर एग्जांपल्स के साथ थोड़ा सा एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन कर लेते हो तो व्हाट हैपेंस यू नो यू लर्न इट बाय हार्ट एंड इट रिमेंस इन योर माइंड इजंट इट यस वेट डैश आई कम बैक वेट का डब्ल्यू कैपिटल होगा बिकॉज़ इट इज अ बिगनिंग ऑफ अ सेंटेंस यू आर यू आर यू आर एक्चुअली स्टार्टिंग अ सेंटेंस विद वेट so w will be uh, capital but still the sentence is perfectly written wait till i come back irfan irfan aap sentence ko padho wait till i come back jab tak main nahi aati hu tab tak aap log wait karo wait till i come back okay my dear Take a lamp. Yes, Kavita, till, Simu, Priyanka, sare log. Absolutely correct. Take a lamp, comma. Dash, the night is dark. Still nahi beta, till, till. There is a difference between till and still. There is a difference between still and till. Right? What is the difference? What is the difference? Still is an adjective. Right? Still means not moving. Till is a preposition, which is uh, used for time. Like I waited till 8 o'clock. He was still busy then. I waited till 8 o'clock. He was 
स्टिल बिजी देन ठीक है टेक अ लैम्प वेरी गुड मोनू टेक अ लैम्प कविता ऑल्सो कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं डैश द नाइट इज डार्क तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा टेक अ लैम्प डैश द नाइट इज डार्क क्या होगा आप लोग बोलो यू टेल मी वॉट वी लिट वी एज द नाइट इज डार्क टेक अ लैम्प एज द नाइट इज डार्क ओके टेक अ लैम्प एज द नाइट इज डार्क एम आई क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू एम आई क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू so this is a little bit about conjunction we can keep on practicing on this uh hemraj rana uh, you joined very late yes as kavita so this is all from my side today i'll be seeing you again tomorrow at 5 o'clock we will do interjection tomorrow and then we will see what we can uh, take uh, how we can take it forward my special thanks to kavita dolly and manu dekho abhi ja ke ye share hua hai i mean <laughs> I mean, this is too much. My special thanks to Monu, uh, Kavita, Dolly for helping me writing the sentences. Thank you, thank you so much for this kind of enthusiastic participation. सारे लोगों को मेरी तरफ से आज के लिए बाय बाय और कल फिर मिलते हैं. ठीक है? तब तक take care.